Hi everyone, in this tutorial I am going to discuss what is doubly linked list and how it is different from a singly linked list. Also in subsequent tutorials we will write its Java code. So before moving to doubly linked list, let's refresh the concepts of a singly linked list. So what is singly linked list? A linked list or you can say singly linked list is a collection of node where each node has two parts. The first part is the data and the second is the pointer to the next node. So pointer is basically a address to the next node and the head pointer points to the first node of a list. So head pointer is a special pointer which points to the first node of a list and the first node points to the the uh, the, the address part of the first node points to the address of the second node and the address part of the second node points to the address of third node and so on and if you see the third node points to null it means the end of a linked list so here you are seeing 700 400 200 it's just a dummy address i mean in actual scenario the address is in hexadecimal format and it's not an not a address or you can say memory location it's just uh, for understanding purpose i have written some integer values so let's take this first node the data part contains the value 12 and the address part contains the value 400 and if you see this second node the address of the second node is 400 so the first node points to the address of second node and similarly if you see the third node the address of the third node is 200 and the data part uh, the address part of the second node points to the third node so i mean and also in single link list we can only traverse in one direction so uh, let's move to the next slide and let's see uh, i already explained uh, the single link list has two part the data and address so the first part is stored the data and the second part is stored the address of next node and uh, when we write its node structure it's something like that uh, so there is one class node and in this uh, node the data is of integer type and the next pointer is of type node because it's pointing to the next node right and here i have created a constructor in which we pass the data so it it will create a node i mean basically uh, this class create a node where the whatever the data uh, data we passed it will put in a data part and the next pointer points to null so basically whenever we insert them in a list uh, the next pointer will points to the address of the next node now let's see some popular operation and its time complexity in singly linked list so inserting a node at the beginning so in singly linked list if we are inserting any new node so this operation is performed in constant time so basically let's suppose this is the new node and we have to insert at the beginning so in that case the head pointer will points to the address of the new node and the address part of the new node will points this node so this operation is always perform in O1 in constant time. And what about if we have to insert the node at the end? So it will take ON because when we have to insert this node at the end, we have to first traverse the single link list. We first go to first node, second node, now third node. So this is the end of a list. So here we insert this uh, uh, new node. So this operation take on similarly deleting a node at the beginning is performed in constant operation we take the head pointer and the head pointer will points to the address of second node and 
if we have to delete the node from the end again it will be on operation as we have to traverse till the end i mean uh, so let's say we have to delete this node so we have to traverse till this part and here uh, the second node points to the address of the third node so it will now points to null for search operation searching a node uh, so given a value we have to search whether it exists in a linked list or not again it's a o n operation because uh, we have to uh, visit each node and check whether any value the data part of the linked list matched uh, to the uh, value we want to search similarly the access operation is also take o n now uh, we have understood what is linked list and we have seen some popular operation which is performed on singly linked list now let's move to the doubly linked list so it is also so doubly linked list is also a linear connection of nodes now in this case in singly linked list the node has only two parts data and address in doubly linked list each node has three parts the address of the previous node the data part and the address of next node so basically using doubly linked list we can traverse in both direction in forward as well as in backward so the head pointer again <laughs> points to the address of the first node and if you see the address of the previous node so this is the first node so definitely uh, there is no previous node so it is null then the data part and then the address of the next node so this node has address 600 so the first node uh, uh, this part will points to the address of next node similarly uh, see this second node so this node the first uh, part contains the address of the previous node this third part contains the address of the next node and this is the data part and uh, let's see uh, this third node so now there is no next node so in this part it is null and this will contains the address of the previous node and this is the data so in uh, in doubly linked list we have the functionality to traverse in forward as well as in backward direction it is similar to the linked list in terms i mean it's also a linear collection of nodes i mean and so in, instead of <coughs> two part it has three parts uh, address of previous node each node has three part address of previous node the data and address of next node now see how uh, its node structure so again the data is of n type then the previous and uh, next node is of node type basically it's pointing to the node address so now uh, let's see these operation in terms of doubly linked list so first inserting at beginning it's uh, very clear it's o1 what about inserting at end how it is o1 so let me explain you so basically the head pointer points to the first node similarly there is a tail pointer if we uh, implement them then it will points to the address of the last node so as we know uh, doubly linked list can be traversed in forward as well as in backward direction so to keep two pointers head to points the address of the first node and tail to points to the address of previous node uh, we can start from any side and we can traverse this node from any direction let's say from end we move to this node this node from head 
we start from this node and then move to the next node and so on so if we keep the tail pointers uh, the inserting at the end is also a on operation uh, o1 operation i mean constant time similarly deleting from the beginning and end is performed in constant time searching a value is o1 because we don't know where it lies we have to visit each node one by one to find whether the node whose value is let's say if we have to search let's say we have to search 12 we don't know where 12 exists so we start from the first node we move to the next so here we found uh, find out uh, found this node now let's suppose 20 we have to search 20 so we start from 12 uh, we start from the first node then we move to the next node then uh, we move to the next node and after that uh, it indicates that there is no uh, node left in a doubly linked list so uh, i mean 20 is not found in doubly linked list so in worst case we are uh, travel we are visiting each node of a doubly linked list and while searching let's say 12 uh, in a list let's say suppose we have to search 12 i already explained this but i missed that the first node the value of first node is also 12 <laughs> i uh, i mean i jumped to the second node and then i saw oh 12 is there but let's say we have to search 12 so in first node we compare the data part with 12 and it is found so we simply return from there so search operation will take o n time similarly access operation is also take o n time complexity now let's see some differences between singly and doubly linked list so first is the definition part which i already explained that in singly linked list so basically it's a collection of node in which each node has two part the data and pointer to the next node and in doubly linked list again it's also a linear collection of nodes only the difference is it has three part the data and the pointer to the next and previous node let's talk about in terms of access in singly linked list we can traverse only in one direction that is forward in doubly linked list we can traverse in both the direction forward and backward and what about in terms of space so definitely in singly linked list uh, it requires less space as compared to doubly linked list i mean in terms of pointer also also in terms of node structure so in singly linked list there is two part and uh, there is a i mean single pointer so basically only the address of the next node and in doubly linked list uh, i mean we have uh, i mean we are keeping the address of the previous node and the address of the next node so definitely it requires uh, extra space so that is all about the singly linked list and doubly linked list so in next tutorials uh, we implement uh, we will write its java code and also we will implement uh, all the operation insert at the beginning and delete at the beginning end and so on so we will implement them programmatically in the next tutorial so that's it for this video tutorial and please like and share this video and also uh i just want to say thank you for watching uh, this video and subscribing to programming tutorials thank you very much for your time